Hi, everyone. This is, uh, Link. Zelda 2, Link. Adventures of Link, or whatever. From the Nintendo Entertainment System. Check your How system. is everyone doing today? Thanks. It is a fantastic game, and it holds up. It's ho it holds up because it's difficult, it's interesting, the music is fantastic. Uh, it's just great. I think it's way better than the original Zelda. I think of the first two games, Link is way better. Way better. I, I don't... I, I think I've gone back and played, you know, the original Zelda a few times, and I never like it as much as Link. Carp Salesman has KFC. That's very impressive. I'm jealous. Uh, I'm gonna have some Italian tonight. Check your Gina Fuser system. And then Viking. Tonight I'm gonna have Italian and then Viking. I don't know what that means. What kind of food did like Vike the Vikings eat? Tree bark? Probably tree bark. Cheesecake was excellent as always. I always get the same thing. Um, I get, uh, I get the Godiva Cheesecake from Cheesecake Factory, which is fantastic. No, I'm not cooking. My refrigerator broke, so I'm kind of in that, that, what is this? What is going on with that hair? My refrigerator broke, so I'm kind of in this waiting. I'm not going to get a new refrigerator until the 10th. So, like, right now, I'm kind of using, like, a mini fridge I have outside to store everything. And just that, that rhythm of cooking out of a mini fridge that's not in your kitchen, I don't want to deal with it. I just don't, I'm not going to cook. I just don't want to do it. Uh, the compressor went out. So, yeah, I mean, it's only like a couple years old. It was, I don't know. Luckily, I had a warranty on it. So, that's fine. That's fine. So, I don't have to pay for it. But yeah, everyone's, everyone's going to be fed. No, I don't need to catch it. Thanks. Thanks, Neon007. My refrigerator is not running, so I don't need to go catch up. I would love sirloin steak, but Italian is what I'm getting tonight. And then Viking. Well, okay, Tuga. <clears throat> Atuga says that some characters don't appear post time skip if you don't recruit them. Who doesn't appear post time skip if you don't recruit them at all? I mean, I'd consider like if there's there's not that that conflict, uh, you know. Turn off my phone. Marianne doesn't appear. All right. Well, I'm not worried about that. Now, I think we're gonna keep, no, we're gonna keep it, we're gonna keep it pure Black Eagles. We're keeping it pure Black Eagles, we're not recruiting anybody. Lawrence, I mean, I would consider Lawrence. Yeah, so we've done we've done Lysithia and Lawrence. Honestly, I forgot that I said I was gonna recruit Lawrence. So as much as do, do, this sounds like what is this Law and Order? These are their stories. Yeah, I will. I'll, I'll do Lawrence. Let's, we haven't played this game in a while. Let's get right into it. Looks like we're, we stopped in the middle of a battle. Let's take a look. What were we doing? Did we go to the battle at Lake Tortates? What did we do? What did we do? A paralogue? Is that what we did last time? Let's fight. Let's just fight. 
Yeah, we did the Seneth Paralogue. The brutality of running through the desert. I thought we used the Pearl on Caspar already, did we? Because I think his charm went up to like, uh, his charm went up to like 16. I don't know, if, like, we don't need to use the pearl. <coughs> All right, we shouldn't have to make too many choices here. Ooh, plane, you're out. Um, so who am I bringing instead? Looks like Caspar. Because Petra is at level 20, and Caspar is not. So like this is our team here. We can adjutant Petra and Caspar. Give her some experience. Let's take a look at the I don't know where we left off with in regard to battalions or any kind of supplies. So we'll try a battalion. Let's repair. How are we doing here? Silver swords fine. Killer bow definitely needs a repair. Is that the one? Thanks that so is. Much. Nothing there. Nothing there. Oh, why don't I like clear everybody out of their inventory, huh? Short spear, iron lance, that's fine. We're not gonna use 11 of those. Six, do, 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 do. Steel gauntlets are good. Steel sword. Yeah, we're solid here. <clears throat> Come back okay. Yeah, let's mess. Let's mess these guys up. Let's zoom out just a little bit here. All right, what are we doing in this? No. What's the da am I in the danger zone? Where's my danger zone button? Let's actually let them come to us for once. I'm actually just gonna position everybody. Except let's get let's get Ferdy into tank mode over here. Stay focused. Flotty into tank mode over there. As you wish. Uh huh. Put me in Caspar, there. you can also tank. Maybe. <laughs> Battle. Here we go. Leave it to me. We'll actually use a little bit of strategy this time. I will prevail. And Edelgard, you go tank a little bit too. Go. Edelgard. Edelgard became crazy powerful. At the beginning of this playthrough, like, she was constantly missing. She was kind of worthless. Now she just Another mows forward. people down. A little Hilda-esque. Not quite as powerful. All right, now we're ready to mess some people up. Where's Dorothea? There you are. Can you knock him out? You can't. What about him? Get him some Thoron! I won't go down so easily. Okay. Caspar, can you take this guy on? No, you're just gonna get your butt kicked. How about, uh, you don't have a battalion? <clears throat> See if I can whittle him down a little bit. Lysithia can't not kill someone. What about uh, Ferdy? Can you can you whittle him down a little bit? Yeah, hit him with some disturbance. Oh wow, huge gambit boost! Make them tremble. Now can Caspar take care of him?
What I think I will do is have you go here. Take him out with Cutting Gale. Bye, heavy armor guy. And I didn't even enjoy it. If only... All right, get him. Don't miss. What a jump. There we go. Caspar's coming up to master level. Pretty good. And lastly, actually, Bernie, why don't you take care of this Pegasus? Bye. Yeah. Am I done yet? Who needs who needs some experience? I think we're all pretty even here, huh? Pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. Pretty good. I don't know what it does. Give him the baloney. <clears throat> Hubert. Give him the death gamma. You could have at least tried. This is. All right, how are we splitting the party? <clears throat> Claudia, go absorb some hits here. There we go. No. That's it. Goodbye. Wow, triple digits. Okay, here we go. More death gamma. For Lady Edelgard. My Scythia. Send him to Hades. <laughs> Hades Omega. You underestimated me. And also got a cool little pomegranate. Weird. It's a little strange that the Hades spell produced a pomegranate in this instance. For those of you that know the Persephone myth. Oh, I probably should have healed there. Oh well. You know what? I have plenty of divine pulses. Here we go. Sure. Yeah. I think. Oh no. I guess. Uh, I guess I'll bring Bernie over here. Dorothea. That's my cue. Thea, can you hit anybody from over here? I guess we'll meteor that guy. <laughs> Put me in there. Put me in, coach. All right, get him. Hopefully, knock him out. There we Never go. Good me. job, Caspar. You're doing, you're doing wow. things. Hey, guard, I want you to melt this guy into nothing. I love the brave axe and the devil axe. Yeah. Oh, come on. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Yeah, you are, buddy. Just move here, I guess. And then Lindhart, um... Oh, I can't get around that way. Wow! Lindhart can't baloney anybody, huh? What if you go here? Oh, there's one. Fire! Hit him again! Huh. Victory. Bring it, slugs. Hit him! Oh, God. Casper's just getting the snot knocked out of him. Oh, man, now we gotta, like... Who can stride? I think it's Dorothea. Is this... Does this, does this even make any sense? Yeah, I guess we're gonna bring everybody around this way. I'm not like a huge fan of this Leave map. It to me. As you wish. Thanks for helping. I thought she might be able to dead eye from there, but no, no such luck. All right. Caspar, why don't you make another kill because you're just 
Uh, let's go with gauntlets. Nice. You see that? I'm just getting. Is there a heavy over there? There's a heavy over there. Let's go take care of the heavy. By melting him inside his armor. And I didn't even enjoy it. I just sous vide that guy. I cooked him from the inside out. Bye. Your defeat was inevitable. Dory, can you get can you get over there? Can you give him some Thoron? Uh, you might die. But Ferdy's gonna come protect you? Short spear him. He's not gonna die. Everybody. Oh, Ferdy's gonna die. I don't think Ferdinand's ever fallen. I'm playing on casual because, again, it's all casual because you just reset. Um, let's see. Okay, we gotta come this way. Dorothea. Caspar, get him! Oh, no one makes it past me. And Thor on that guy. Fire that guy. Can't get ahead of myself. If only my. Okay, Edelgard's guard's not gonna like put her heavy armored butt all the way over here. Uh, who can reach? I don't think I don't think she'll die from here. You lure them out. Oh, he's got huge moves. Cause I think she's, she's no, she's not a thief, is she? She's a swordmaster. I think we did that. Uh, yeah. Make sure Caspar. What a thrill! What a thrill! Nice! Hell of a level. Hell of a level, level. Okay, let's see. Don't go that. No! Alright. Nice. Wow. Pathetic. Pathetic. Don't one shot Dorothea. Don't one shot her! All right, looks like we're gonna have to do it. Like everybody over here is gonna have to do the thing. All right, go this way. I'm gonna attack with the short axe. Get him, crit! No. <clears throat> hey, hey Aki. I don't know if you recognize this particular game, but it's not Shadowverse. I know it's it's super similar. But it's not. <laughs> Poor Aki, you take so much I shouldn't strain myself. Don't strain yourself. You were wide open. Not all right, and now more cast bar punching. You see that? I don't think I'm gonna catch up this way. I mean, I'll, I'll send Claudia over. Otherwise, uh, oh no, because you can warp, right? Who needs? Who needs? Uh, who needs some? Who needs some juice? Let's warp Bernie. Yes. Um, all right, we'll put you there. Predictable. 
Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is kill you with the sword. Should I have held back? Close this out pretty nicely. I owe you one. And then we're just really gonna catch Caspar up, I think. I don't think he'll be able to kill him. Well, yeah, still axe, get him! Get him! Oh. Get him. What a chump. What a chump. And Petra gets the level up. Fantastic! What a I wonderful battle. Either. If it's not Caspar, I'd be surprised. I had Caspar pretty much clean everybody up. Alright, I don't really want to keep battling, so we're just gonna end this. Leave the leave the points unspent. Leave them unspent. Bye-bye, battle. Wow, nice, Cel Celestis. Celestis. It was no accident. Really great. Really, really fantastic. I will check the pearl, I promise. Again, I think we know that Caspar, um, he's got enough charm. <clears throat> Not too much motivation here. Cubes. I guess we'll, we'll pump a little bit into... Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Bernie. Let's give you some authority. So you can have some nice battalions. Looks like you're about to heal, aren't you? Oh, I'm oh, close. My Scythia, I mean, like, what else could you possibly do? I'm not gonna... Perfect! Wow. Great run, everyone. And then Edelgard. Pump everybody's authority today. I'm not gonna instruct either of you. I don't use you. Let's just auto instruct the rest. Yeah. Uh, begin the lecture. Professor. Oh, what did I do? I wasn't looking at the screen. No. <clears throat> Ahem. Ladies and gentlemen. My sincerest apologies for the wait. Thank you for gathering here on the eve of the highly anticipated ball to bear witness to the Academy Wide Dance Competition. Welcome to the White Heron Cup. The competition will be judged by me, your humble servant, Alois Rongel, and also the acclaimed former songstress of the Mittelfrank Opera Company, Willkommen Manuela Mittelfrank. Casa Granda! Yes, yes, thank you. Oh, and it should go without saying, but I swear to show no bias to my own house. Got it? Good. Caspar's gonna crush Last you. but not least, the glamorous assassin who does all of her dancing in the dead of night, Shamir! Navron! Hmm. The three of us swear on our honor to judge and the our following lives. proceedings with utmost impartiality and fairness. And with that, will the representatives of each house please make their way to the stage? Contestants, are you ready to dance? And is the band prepared to play? Very well. 
begin! <laughs> Let's do it! Look at him, he's f***ing sparkling! Felix, even though you can dance, you're still a Time! That's all, folks! Were they boxing? Splendid! All three of you were fantastic! <laughs> now, let's hear what the judges have to say. Oh my, let's see. I suppose I have no choice but to vote for... The Black Eagle House. Boom! Your performance was exhilarating. My heart is still beating a mile a minute. I vote for... <clears throat> Golden Deer House. Hey, f that. You are the most original. Great feedback, both of you. Well then, let's see. Factoring in my own humble opinion, yes, we have a winner. And I will announce who it is right now, without any delay. Stop delay. The winner of this year's White Heron Cup is. The Black Eagle! Yes! I won? I won! How did I win? I don't know! Once more, please give a big round of applause for our talented participants! Dance bar! We got dance bar, everybody! Oh, let's take Dima to tea. Let's go, buddy. Um, let's give you... Crescent Moon tea. I apologize for the wait. Don't f***ing make me wait. Thank you. Tea with the saddest boy on the How planet. Warm and comforting. It's <laughs> aptly describing the tea. Hmm? What are your ambitions? Indeed. The conversation got lively. Dimitri's always interested in talking about his ambitions. Let's see what so else. Guessing someone's age, exploring the monastery are perfect recipes. So it is. Exploring the monastery. So it is. A dinner, and I'm counting on you. Indeed. Oh my god! I apologize for troubling you. I'm grateful for your support. I invited you. How about a, a blush? Oh. oh my! The slight rouge in Claudia's face makes for an intriguing uh, something to Dimitri making for a perfect tea time. How warm. Put your tea down. I want I need to joke, nod, and banter. Professor. Professor. I got weird. Bye. Thank you for the treat. I had a wonderful time. I would love to do this again, if that is acceptable to you. Yeah, we'll do this in like, I don't know, a couple months. Amazing, no? Perfect! You guys cleaned the sh the best. The best. I am closing in on X. I appreciate your effort. We did it. All right. Cast bar. Where's dancer? Oh, this is, I'm in the wrong menu. Okay, it doesn't matter. 
Uh, Bernie, is anybody? Did anybody pop over to twenty from last battle? I don't think so. <clears throat> I think everybody's in their uh, advanced class, right? Oh no, Petra, Petra, Petra as assassin. This is exactly where I wanted her to be. Bring it. Yeah, that's right. I have success. Heck yeah. Dorothea needs to go to her advanced class as well, which it, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't have any seals. I need seals. Cause she's gonna be a warlock, right? Am I making her into a warlock or a bishop? A warlock. Be a warlock. Ferdy's not 20 yet. I would love for him to be a paladin soon. You're good. You're definitely good. Linhart's good. We'll reclass you. I need a seal. Um, you're good. Everybody's good. I just need one more. I need one, two more advanced seals. <clears throat> Can I buy them here? I can. Great. Uh, let's go back and we will certify Dorothea as a warlock. Do I have a brave lance? <clears throat> I mean, I'm happy to. Let's do this while I'm thinking of it. Casper! Let's see it. Can't wait to try this out. Me neither, buddy. Now, for dancer class, it's important that Caspar. has swords, right? Like that's that's his thing. I need to get rid of all his stuff and give him some swords, right? Okay. I'll go get him some better swords. And I will give Where are you, Ferdy? The spear of a Saul. What the sh is that? I don't, I don't know. We'll trade this with a crescent sickle. I don't know what a crescent sickle does. Where's my like details button? There's this. All right, let's take a look. Crescent sickle. 10, 80, 1, 12. We got 10, 80, 80, 80. Okay. And... So it looks like that Spear of Assault. Pretty great. Not too much that I'm not super interested in this. All right. All right, that's, that's enough there. What I definitely want to make sure I do now is buy... Let's get it. Why can't I buy... Oh, because his sword skill isn't high enough. There's no way for me to, like, boost that now, is there? How, how can I? How, 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 how. No, 
No, he wasn't in my he wasn't in my gold golden deer run, so I can't no, I can't I can't spend renown for it. Alright, well I'll just give him uh I'll give him I'll give him an axe. For some range. And uh let's do Hammer down! 6716 six and 106115. Give him the hammer. Alright. Good, 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 good. That's not a bad idea, Catherine. I'll give her a, a brave bow. Replenish. Well, actually, I don't understand forge, to be honest. Like, I don't know why you forge things. Woods. Give her a silver sword plus. Woods. For one brave sword. I mean, like, she's already pretty OP. Let's let's do it. I don't spend resources enough. So now she's got a brave sword. Fantastic. But I think I'm also gonna give her a silver sword because uh no, 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 no. Uh armory. Let's buy Claudia a I could have That was stupid. I could have just spent money on it. Killing edge. Eleven sword. Okay, I think I've done everything that I want to do here. Um, let's take a look at some sports. Sports, 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 you could say by switching to Geico, you say 15% or more. I asking you a question. 15% or more oh, on your car insurance. Do. Okay, they're talking. Ladies are talking. Why have you come to Garrick Mock? Is your gold different from the rest? Yes, I suppose. Everyone here is an heir or an heiress, but not me. I'm just a commoner. When I enrolled in the Officers Academy, I was different than everyone else. I wanted to secure my future, and my big idea was to marry money. Ever since, I've been dating different, terribly well-to-do men, searching for a good one. So far, there's been no reason for a second date. Marrying money? That is not sounding like a good idea. Money would be a bad husband. Pretty much. But you treat me well. I have so much gratitude. Well, why do you show me such friendliness when I am not money? Oh, no, Petra. This isn't like that. I like spending time with friends. It's wonderful being friends with you. And I hope we can stay close for a long time to come. Yes, I have that hope too. But I have also been thinking of who is good for me. Oh, I see. Is it? And still I am thinking we should be friends. Oh, I know why. Because we're both trouble for Imperial nobility. Yes. We both have troubles. <laughs> That's not what Feels nice, doesn't it? <laughs> I feel like they're not talking about the same together, thing. Together, we can irritate that many people. Since we've already got a lot in common, let's get to know each other better, shall we? All right, let's explore the monastery. <laughs> okay. Hello there. 
Well, that person sounds like Arcadum. Every time I hear him, I, it makes me miss D&D. Arcadum, if you're listening, I miss you. Hi, Lawrence. Ah, oh, the lo these skills were. Would you like a goddess statuette? How kind of you. Okay. Oh, that's right. He's a golden deer, so I can go buy his. Uh, I can go use. I can go I spend. I can go spend uh, renown. Screw this. This is annoying. I don't want to talk to him. Where are my buttons? My private quarters. Personal quarters. Support hole. Great. good things about you I believe your talents may be well suited to working with a student of my uniquely high caliber what do you say shall we arrange a transfer okay I suppose when I put it that way how could you possibly decline we are a natural fit I expect only the very best from you professor You're, now, you guys promised me I couldn't have killed him, right? You promised me. You said he doesn't even show up in, in post-time skip. Okay. All right. Okay. Fine. Where are my beagles at? It's true that Tomas was employed here under the recommendation of House Ordelia. But that's all I know of the topic. i never even seen him prior to enrolling here. Even when he was supposedly in Ordelia territory, I'm still feeling bothered by him. Me too. Anyway, bye. We gotta make sure to get these Edel, like my Edelgard uh, a little bit happier with Claudia here. Hey there. I wonder if Remire Village will ever be the same again. Well, no, it's, recover from everybody's such a dead. Terrible event. So many deaths. You have my thanks. What if I cook with Edel? Let's cook with Edelgard. She can make a. Uh, Immortality stew. I never had a chance to cook in Enbar, so my skills are a bit undeveloped. She looks so worried. This would go a lot quicker if I could just use an axe or a sword. That's not how you cook, sweetheart. Of course. It's just not. Well, nobody got sick, so. Edelgard doesn't like today's special. Let's uh, let's eat with Edelgard and uh, Vernon. I Ferdinand, please stop making everything a competition against me. 
Oh, I missed the first line. And... Hubert and Petra. Sure. While I have little interest in... I would... I don't want to hear your story about Remire Village again. It's very sad. It's very, 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 very sad. Let's go to the garden. Maybe. You play your cards right. Let's harvest. Oh, good. Let's plant some of this. Let's. How about um, eat here? Fruit. Great. And then we'll put some poop on it. Poop! Great. Just great. It's that time when all the students get all lovey-dovey. You're new, but you know about the ball, yeah? I can't bear it. Young love is wasted on the young. They can't appreciate it to its fullest. Ugh. I wish I could fall in love, too. Will you train me in sword? Okay, bye. I don't really want to fish. Let's go to the marketplace and get that shiny, shiny thing. Anna! Hey, Professor, I'd love to catch up. Hey, how about a favor? I don't know. There's some stuff over here. Stuff over here. I don't think there's anything I need here, right? I'm very hey. much out of gifts. Hello there. I don't this have any. Yes. Sure. I thank you. Uh, this one, yes. Yeah. And I think this one, yes. I think this one, yes. Okay. Great. I think Training this weight. one, yes. Hopefully it's not a I shake weight. That would be yes. weird. I think. Return soon, please. Uh, bye. Hey, welcome. Okay, thanks for having me here, Angela. Let's buy some coffee beans. You have a good eye. A pleasure. You have a good eye. Okay, I'm a bear stuffy. A pleasure. Come again. You want fish? You want fish? Hey, cat. Hey, 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 cat. Cat, 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 cat. You want tomato? How about uh, Albanian herring? And uh, Tortellini's pack. And some Caledonian crayfish. And black sand steel. Where are they getting these like these animals getting all this friggin' Pardon me. What? Greetings, Professor. Nothing to uh, other than the legend of the goddess time on the oh, we are, of okay, yeah. We are. Uh in on here. No. Shut up. Hmm. That's right. Catherine, Catherine, Catherine. Hey, Catherine, hey, Catherine, hey, Catherine. You want to play backgammon? You want to play backgammon, Catherine? Go to the, the area with the old chapel. It wasn't risky. Does that surprise? That's true. People call it the sea. Hmm. Hi, Claude. Someone entered the old chapel. I think the townsfolk used it for feasts and such in the past. With that whole Tomas business, you can't blame the church for being on edge. Yeah, you can. The church sucks. Take down the church! Hello. I'm absolutely going through with the Wallace cosplay if I get 4,000 subs, but 4,000 subs is a absurd goal. Intentionally out of reach. Another month full of chaos. I barely had time to catch my breath. What is the objective of Tomas and his ilk? Chaos. And what? Do you? 
No, I want to take Edelgard to tea. Where's Edelgard? <sighs> okay, we can also go to tea. Another. What is the and what? Oops. Not what is the and what? Thank you. Would you like some crescent moon tea? Did you summon me? Thank you. Flavorful. I'm glad you like it. I didn't think someone could make that word sound so creepy, but you did it. You did it. Capable comrades? Yeah, talk about Edelgard. The conversation got lively. Anything that leads back to Edelgard. It's a good piece of coffee, I'm alive. Ambitions, sauna, or hopes for your few. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You don't have any ambitions because you're just a, uh, like a simulacrum for Edelgard. Hopes for your future? No. Oh, piss! Books, plots, or gifts? How about plots? Yes. That conversation got loudly is quite evil. I don't think it's redeemable. It's a nice tea time. Thank you. This was more enjoyable than I thought. Uh, it's almost pleasant, but not quite. Goodbye. Is the garden here? There she is. Everyone's in. I can't help but worry. Something might happen while we're still. Okay. Uh. Did we do this? A lost item. A lost item. A lost. Did we do this lost, with her already? Lost, I can't remember. A lost. A lost. A lost. A lost. A lost. A lost item. A lost. A lost item. A lost. A lost. A lost. Did we do this already with this? We did. We have. Her? Okay, I'm not gonna do this anymore. It's horrifically annoying. Uh, let's give you some sunflowers. Oh, that's adorable. Great. Would you like a, another sunflower? Would you like another sunflower? Would you like another sunflower? How about a sunflower? How about some coffee beans? I appreciate. And a sunflower? I appreciate. And then come to tea with me. I'll give her the armored bear stuff and we're done. Again, I, I didn't buy the tea that she likes, right? What was it? God, I suck at this. What tea does she, what tea does she like? It's, it's bergamot, right? I don't have bergamot. What's, uh... Well, I don't know. We'll just give her chamomile. Who doesn't <laughs> like chamomile? Thank you. We'll ace it some other way. It smells delicious. I'm glad you enjoy it. Let's talk about some things. Yes. Cute monks, someone you look up to at classes you might enjoy. Someone you look up to. Is there anyone in your family? Oh, piss. Not very good. I don't think she particularly likes her family. A word of advice, heart racing memories, or Fodlin's future. Draw into the garden! Shareable snacks, cats, or fa what the? Do you, uh, fat? you seem maybe a little interested in fashion? Oh, this was an awful tea time. She's just awkwardly drinking her tea with this look on her face. Oh my god! Thank you for the treat. Thank we go again. We're gonna go again. I didn't know you could double tea time. Uh, how about some lavender <laughs> this time? I should just go buy bergamot. You f idiot. Mm, this is lovely. I'm glad you like it. Would you like some eggplant slices? Yes. Shareable snacks, school days, or the library's collection. How about, oh crap. I don't think it's snacks. Do you read books? Uh. Oh, they were drawn into the conversation. 
Yes. Guessing someone's age, monastery mysteries, or let's have about how about monastery mysteries? Whoa. They were drawn into the conversation again. Fantastic. The third one, we're talking about perfect recipes, exploring the monastery or the opera. How about the monastery again? Yes. Drawn into the conversation. If I hadn't been born to House Resvelk, I imagine life would have been much simpler. <laughs> Based on what I know of your story from spoilers, I, I think that's an understatement. Let's just not, let's not acknowledge it and just be like, just sip no. tea. <laughs> Fine, it was great. It was worth it. It was worth it just being like, mm-hmm. Thank you for the treat. This was fun. Would you like to go to tea again? <laughs> Edelgard is gonna have to pee. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm not going don't... to get bergamot. I'm not doing it. Huh? A new gambit, someone you look up to, a personal. How about someone you look up to? <laughs> that was yes. the one I picked last time, wasn't it? Cats! Yeah. You seem different. Yes. It was fine. Thank you for the. Who do I? All right, let's go to halftime and then we'll come back. We'll come back for this. Welcome to halftime. Welcome to Dear Abby. Your chance to ask a real deer life questions. put this controller over here while I access all of your your questions Blah. do this do this over here click this thing Where is it? Okay. Okay. I'm going to put this away because I can't see you guys at all. So I arrange it this way. Nope, nope, nope. Hang on. Hang on. There we go. All right. Somnium Bunny asks Dear Abby, I'm in love with Edelgard, but she's too busy taking over the world to pay attention to me. How do I get over her? With love, a broken-hearted deer. Somnium, I'm so sorry that you fall in love with Edelgard and that she's she's too busy um, <clears throat> with world domination. I think I think it's probably not time to give up. I, I I don't think it's time for you to give up on Edelgard. I think it's important that you acknowledge that she has ambitions. You know, she's a just because she's a career woman doesn't mean she can't fall in love. So I would say, hey, how can I help you take over the world and also maybe make out? I think that's that's a totally fine thing to ask her. Um, because, you know, she probably thinks she's more than her ambition. And I think if you acknowledge that too, you might have you might have a shot. So don't give up yet. Don't give up yet. Try to meet her. Try to meet her where she is. You know? Procrastin07 asks, Dear Abby, 
I searched up Fire Emblem Heroes Summer Banners because it's snowing here, but I forgot to turn on safe search and came across Lawrence in a Speedo. How do I get rid of this cursed image? Please send help. Signed, Traumatized Doe. Unfortunately, you are f for the rest of your life. Mary Studio asks, Dear Abby, I sometimes feel so unfocused on what I should be doing and what to focus on other things and want to focus on other things. What is the best way for a deer to get focused? Signed, an unfocused doe. I think you're over, I think deer who are focused uh, don't make it very long. When if, you, if you're out in the wild and you're like worried about wolves, coyotes, you know, uh, human hunters and things like that, you really can't be focused because if you are focused, um, then, then you're probably going to die. What you need to be is you need to be constantly paranoid. Uh, the, the real key to being a deer is just a, a, a constant sense of extreme anxiety. That's what you need in order to survive. So get on that and uh, you'll be fine. And stop worrying about focusing. <clears throat> Chibi Envy Chan asks, Dear Abby, lately I've been finding myself unmitted, unmotivated to do a lot of things, including self-care. How can I get myself motivated? Sincerely, a deer who managed to get motivated enough to write this. You know, this is a piece of, this is an actual piece of advice that I give some people um, sometimes. And you know, it works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't work. It depends on, you know, like you as a person and stuff like that. But uh, there's, there's a saying that I heard once that I kind of agree with. Which is, if you can't make yourself happy, try making someone else happy. And that's not like in that weird, like, um, you know, like dependency sense where it's just like now you're a slave to somebody else's whims. And that's not what I mean. I'm saying like, go, go help someone, go volunteer someplace, go, go contribute to society in a way, even if it's just like caring for someone. You don't have to like build someone a house or like donate a bunch of money or, or stuff like that. Just go out and like. You know, go volunteer at a food kitchen or or do something like that. It doesn't have to be like a huge commitment. Just kind of like do it a couple times and, and see and see what happens. See that like you're valuable. Like you bring value to somebody else's life. Uh and and that I think is a form of self-care. Is is helping yourself determine that you have value. Not a therapist. That was the wrong button. The button I was looking for is this one. <laughs> Aki, sh this is your fault. This is your fault. All right. Effie Fanatic asks, Dear Abby, Sedith has told me about Flame's house getting blown in on Garrick Mox Monastery Minecraft server, and I've been tasked to get Edelgard to stop blowing up houses as well as calming Flame down. How do I do both? Signed, Professor Deer. Okay, there's these three pigs. There's these three pigs you gotta talk to. Uh, and you you don't, you talk to the third one. You don't talk to the first one or the second one because they're gonna f everything up. They, they're just idiots. You talk to the third pig, and that third pig's gonna tell you how to build a house that Edelgard can't blow up. I think you're attacking the wrong part of the problem. You can't get Edelgard to stop blowing up houses. What you have to do is you have to build a house that Edelgard can't blow up. Talk to those pigs, tell them I sent you. Mira Mira asks, Dear Abby, I think I have an addiction to puns. I first noticed I had a problem when I broke this voice actor I'm a fan of with the pun of self-esteem. As much as I love wordplay, I'm worried that they may do what they do to those around me and drive people away. What should I do? Sincerely, someone who doesn't want to be punished for her sense of humor. Well, you can't spell slaughter without laughter. So keep killing them, Mira. You just keep killing them. Zeon Pride 2015 asks, I have a dog who wants to chew on my antlers all the time. 
What do you recommend to get him to stop? Sincerely, a disgruntled deer with chewed up antlers. Uh, what you do there is you just let your dog chew on the antlers or wait till yours fall off. I mean, you're, they're going to fall off every once in a while. So you just, you, you do that. Or you can like, uh, you can like dip them in chili powder or if you're really, you know, really upset hydrochloric acid don't don't do that though that's not good for animals uh oh, this is a uh, this is formatted a little weird hang on Hold on one second. Can't read this. I'm gonna do. December Galaxy asks, Dear Abby, I've always been more on the serious side, and as a result, I find it hard to joke around sometimes. As someone who used to have a stick up the butt, how do I get rid of my own stick? First of all. You're right, I did have, used to have a stick up my butt. Sincerely a socially constipated doe. I think, uh... I, I think just ex... By oh my god! Get your aluminum foil. Svanhild is raining with a party of three! The reptilians are coming! Well, you finally, guys, guys, finally got to see the, uh, the whatever thing. The, the Cesar raid emote alert thing. Welcome, raiders. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, we're at halftime. I'm giving people life advice. Um, you know what? Accept the fact that you're serious. You don't have to be something that you're not. Not everybody, like, not everybody, you know, jumps into a room and starts, like, joking around and making everybody laugh. You know, like, it's fine. If you're... Now, if you're just, like, uptight and you can't let stuff go, maybe that's a question for, like, a therapist. But as far as, like, just accepting yourself, you don't have to be the freaking... keep on laughing of, of the world. Don't worry about it. Accept yourself for who you are and find people that do the same. Or go take an improv class. Um, if you have improv around you, a lot of cities have it. Go take an improv class. I guarantee you it will help. Uh, I guarantee you it will help with all kinds of stuff. You just practice looking like an idiot. So there's, there's diverging paths there. Take any of them. Jaded Mochi, ruined your own surprise party. Dear Abby, my house members are acting strange. I didn't know why until I overheard they were planning a surprise party for me tomorrow. By the way, happy uh, early birthday to Jaded Mochi. Now their secret plans are obvious because I know. How do I not let on that I know and I can actually enjoy my party? Sincerely a suspicious doe. Okay, so there's two ways you can go about this. There's two ways you can go about this, okay? One, you just pretend that you don't know. You go, oh my god, I'm so surprised! And you just let them have their fun and let them think that they did something great for you. The second thing you can do is a counter surprise. You figure out how they're gonna surprise you, and then instead of like when when they're like when they're supposed to be getting up and hiding behind the couches and stuff like that, or whatever to say surprise, you like get in the closet. And so when everybody like is super when su everyone is like super quiet and waiting for you to come through the door. You just open, you open the, the door and you're like, SURPRISE! And that could be fun too. I don't know, choose, choose one of them. Serena Cool Bean asks, Dear Abby, I'm having a hard time finding a job and the job I got isn't the one for me. What should I do? from having Conquil pay for my subscription, dear. Uh, I don't know if you... Liking your job is super important, but it's okay to like not like jobs in sequence. So I think there are people that are like, oh, I hate my job. 
I'm 15. I better like quit everything and then go be a rock star. No, that. You... Oh my God! It's got another raid from Tone 1412. We've been raided twice in like 10 minutes. Thanks to the raid, Tone. Welcome everybody. Yeah, there's like this this pervading sense of like you have to follow your passion like from the beginning. Look, if you're 16 years old and it's your first job, don't quit and become like an art gallery curator. You got to work a little bit first. Um, I, the way I did it was, and again, I'm not, I'm not a proponent of what, what do we call it? What do you call the thing? What it's like a it's a uh, where everybody works so hard and it's like it's like is it crunch culture? Is it uh, there's a word for it that's now in the in the vernacular. Now I can't remember what it is. Anyway, I'm not saying burn yourself out. Is it burnout culture? Is that it? Grind culture? That might be it. It might be grind culture, Crescent Rose. In any case, don't burn out. But that's not the same as working hard. Um, I worked for like 16 hours a day for like a year because I, when I was transitioning from government work to voiceover. And then, you know, that was a thing. At some point, you have to like figure out that that's not working for you but uh i don't know three jobs in the past week maybe the job isn't the problem i don't know i don't know because that's a lot that's a lot of moving around in, in the last week maybe maybe like take a step back for a week and uh and see if you're asking the right questions i don't know i don't know about that keep me posted though I'm very interested on, uh, yeah. All right, one more. Random chick Robin asks, Dear Abby, ever since the professor invited Lawrence to join the Black Eagles, he and Ferdy have been arguing non-stop. In class, around the monastery, even in my room. How do I escape this? Sincerely, a mentally exhausted doe. What you do is you take one hand and you take the other hand and you slap the sh** out of both of them. That's what you do. That's Dear Abby Mods giveaway of print. I'll be back in a minute.
Hearts. Thanks. 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 Shut it down, Mods. It's time for more of Fire Emblem Three Houses. Icy Cat Eye, congrats. 
Congratulations! I must still have my reverb on! Send a message to a moderator! Give them your address. Did we get a bunch of gift subs? Thank you! I don't have the history up here, so I can't see who did what because I'm a sh streamer. But thank you whoever did that, you're really super cool. Is it Twitch activity feed? Can I pop that open? No, it's not there. I'm gonna crash. I'm gonna crash OBS if I start messing around. Thanks, Zeon and... A Lil Nkotify? Lil Nkotify. Thank you. Thanks. Now, what the f*** were we doing? We had one activity point left. How are we going to spend it? We have no supports that we need to do. Oh, shut up! Uh, we went to tea with Edelgard way too many times. I tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna go buy some bergamot. We fed the children. We didn't talk to Caspar yet. Um, we take Caspar to tea. All right, we'll talk to Caspar. Hello there. This one, yes? We'll buy $6,000 worth of tea. That's insane. Return soon, please. Oh, ginger tea. We'll get, thank Hello you there. for, thank you for telling me that ahead of time. Uh, ginger one, tea. Yes. I return soon, please. Okay, bye. We'll find out where Caspar is. Now, I haven't sold bullion in a while. It's really like, you know, I haven't, I haven't been out of money. Where are you, Caspar? There. Standing, what are you doing over here? He's furious! Oh yeah, I knew I could do it. Thanks for the distraction, Professor. Okay, let's let's have some tea, buddy. Thanks. What's going on? You didn't want to train? Well, I guess that's fine. I wanted to have tea with you. Ah. Oh, yeah. I can tell this is a good one. Come on, hand it over. Thanks. You could just say, can I please have some tea? Like I'm talking to my three-year-old. Wow. Is he the only one that makes that noise? I don't feel like anybody has made that noise while drinking tea. Is that like a specifically Caspar thing? Yeah. Kitchen catastrophes, working hours for guards and monastery rules. Thinking you're probably talking about funny things happening in the kitchen, but whatever, I f***ing suck at this. Huh? Overcoming weaknesses, the ideal relationship of favorite sweets. Training, you like training? Drawn into the common Huh? Equipment upkeep, monastery rules, cooking mishaps. Uh, you don't seem like very interested in rules. I don't know if you'd like to cook or not. Let's talk about cooking. Yeah. Thrown into the cup of iron. I'm gonna keep training until I can beat you. I'm going to nod. Perhaps. A laugh. Oh, a laugh. Let's laugh together. <laughs> Thanks for this, Professor. Don't you want to get some exercise, though? Come on, let's go train! Bye. All right, let's go through the week. What's happening today? The ball is tomorrow. I have no worthwhile memories of such events, yet... Wow, that was a really sad and dark one. thing you just sort of threw into that conversation. I, in the sense that I look forward to destroying all of the unworthy suitors <laughs> who will inevitably swarm Lady Edelgard. I will admit, Edelgard is adorable. However, when it comes to elegance on the dance floor, I am superior. You're not a bad dancer, Ferdy, but you do have some <laughs> moves that are hard to watch. Okay. That's me in a nutshell. Like, that's what I, I'm pretty sure everyone would say about my dancing. I, I think I'm a dancer. 
but people are like, you're not a bad dancer. Just sometimes, I don't know. You honor me with your kind words. I understand that I am sometimes too dazzling to behold directly. My God, he's insufferable. I'm envious of your positive attitude. I also know how to dance, in theory. Maybe I should participate as well. Not me. You wouldn't catch me dancing at a ball any sooner than you'd catch a fish swimming through the sky. They do that, though. <laughs> well, you do tend to flop around like a fish on the land, after all. But why would you say that? Now I feel like a fish on a skillet. On a skillet. <laughs> Never mind. Speaking of the ball, I don't get do the we joke, get to pick Lindy. Who we dance with? I wonder who I should ask. A bold subject change. Should Lady Edelgard wish it, I would be honored to. I will fight with all that I have within me. <laughs> Fighting? No, that's not really the point. I will not be as a fish upon the flame. What is this? Um, what okay. is this conversation? I have a proposition. Let's all agree to meet back at the monastery exactly five years from today. Okay. Like a class reunion? It's a great idea. Five years from today will be the Millennium Festival for Garrig Mach Monastery. I've heard the magnitude of the festivities will exceed all prior years. Oh, how exciting! Sounds like a great excuse to come visit our dear professor. You will be seeing how much growing I have done. You will be pleased, professor. This idea is good. Who knows where each of us will be in five years' time, or who we will become. Still, I have faith that all of us will gather and celebrate our reunion. That's assuming the professor is still here in five years, and not enjoying a cozy early retirement. Five-year career is not that long. <laughs> Even if that's the case, you will come, won't you? Whether or not you're still teaching here. This would be a great time for, like, for the game to say, like, either of course and the game continues, or you say no and the game just ends. Don't forget, <clears throat> my teacher. Even if the Millennium Festival should be canceled, I promise to return here. Covered in blood. I mean, yes. What now? Oh, the ball. Hello, generic students. Don't run into each other. Hey, teach. Courtyard. Run evening. away? Yes. I understand. You hardly have the time to breathe in there. It must be hard to be the favorite teacher at the ball. <laughs> poor, poor professor. It is difficult being me. So you do think you're the favorite. <laughs> I might have known. But where is there to run? This place is filled with joyful students looking for a dance. The Goddess Tower waits for you. It's Caspar! Here oh, you here are. we go. Are you waiting for someone? I was waiting for you. 
For me? Well, you should have summoned me earlier. Regardless, here I am. No, nothing in particular. In fact, that's why I came here. This place, the Goddess Tower, it was special to my parents. My father attended the Officer's Academy himself. A few years after graduating, he was crowned Emperor. One day, during a visit to the monastery, he snuck into the Goddess Tower on a nostalgic whim. And there she was, my mother. She had just enrolled in the Academy that very year. They were instantly drawn to each other. Love at first sight, you could say. It was the first time either had truly been in love. Or so the story goes. Yes. Of course, as Emperor, my father had already married for political reasons. As the Empire demands many heirs, he also had numerous other lovers. In the end, my mother right. settled for becoming one Only of his Only Amorous Cressfeld, I guess. But I choose to believe there was genuine love between them. <laughs> I suppose it's a silly story to cling to. Who was your first true love? Is it me? Mm -hmm. For some reason, I feel compelled to tell you all of these things I have kept hidden. I can't say the name, but it was a noble who I met in the kingdom a lifetime ago. Anyway, what about you? It's your turn to reveal some long-held secret. You can share a story about your past, or perhaps tell me about your first love. I have no such stories because I have no memories. The truth, Thanks for bringing that up. Thanks for bringing that up. I wasn't even able to make I don't blush. I don't have memories. <laughs> no, I'm the one who should apologize. It wasn't my intention to pry. I'm just intrigued by you and your mysterious past. You have supposedly always been a mercenary, but I believe there's more to your story than that. Let's leave it there for today and return to the ball. There must be plenty of students hoping to talk with you and to dance with you. I would not wish to prevent you from mingling. I cannot keep you all to myself, after all. I just like, I want to see Hubert's eyes, like in the corner back there, like. Mm. It seems that everyone is having a delightful time. Will you not dance some more? I'm tired. How dull of you. Had I a body of my own? Oh, I would sing and dance until I fell upon the ground. But you, <laughs> do as you will. Oh, now you don't want me to go to sleep? Now that you oh, want to do something? You're not the only one who feels that way. Look over there. Oh, look, it's Rhea being creepy. Hmm. I'm bored beyond. Oh, come on. All right, let's go. I know that you are curious. All right, let's go. I hear someone singing from over there. See the glow of flames ever. Burning bright on the switch. The words aren't on the screen anymore. That song. I feel that I have heard it in the past. Actually, it is not that I have heard it. It's that I wrote it, and I, I'm gonna DCMA it. I'm gonna DCMA that. Did I that song to someone? No, there's more. I wrote this song. Oh. Oh, but how could that be so? If that were true, then how could she be singing it? Unless... <laughs> Unless copyright infringement. No, no. I am suddenly so oh, exhausted. Oh, now it's time to As go to bed. You, no doubt? God, you're so Quickly fickle. Then. What's the shield? Is it mission day? Oh, it's mission day!
but we don't have time for the mission today. That's something that's gonna happen maybe next week. It's a good time to take a break. Ladies and gentlemen, and everything in between, I hope you have a phenomenal weekend. I hope your weekend doesn't suck. If it does suck, come back on Tuesday because I have some fun stuff happening on Tuesday. Me and Faye Mata are getting together for another joint stream. We're gonna play this goofy game that EA just came out with called It Takes Two. And it's not about tangoing. I don't think. Faye is always a ton of fun to stream with. Especially when we play games collaboratively. I can't wait. It's gonna be a great time I hope you guys come and hang out all the favorites and all the schmoes together again This is sounding very dramatic for some reason with this. I don't know. Uh, I haven't I haven't played it takes two yet But I'm excited to We Are going to raid This person and we're just gonna hang out and say hi you tell him who sent you you have a great weekend and most importantly fear the deer <laughs>